Today we're going to look at three important words. First one is parallel, second one is intersecting, and the third keyword today is perpendicular. And let's just take a quick look at them and how they relate to the math ideas, in particular of our 2D and 3D shapes. So the first word is parallel. Basic idea of parallel is it can be applied to lines or faces, but the key thought is that these lines that are parallel do not meet. So they do not ever meet, and they always stay the same distance apart. So you can see in this picture here of a couple different faces and a couple different lines, we've got this line here traveling that way, this line here, they never cross, and you can see here the distance they are apart is not changing. One thing I'd like to just make a quick note of is you can see two black arrows here, and on this side, two black arrows, and if the arrows are the same on two lines, that means that they're parallel. Same thing down here, I'm gonna just use blue. You can see we've got a line that's actually going upwards, a vertical line, and a second vertical line. Those two lines are the exact same distance apart all the time, so therefore they'd be considered parallel. And you can see they've labeled them with one arrow on each line. So since that both of these lines have the same single arrow, arrow, arrow it tells us that they are parallel. Let's move to the next keyword. Next keyword is the word intersect. Basically all intersect means is it's two lines that meet or cross. So if we have two lines that meet, you might have a line like that, you might have a line like that, and they stop right when they hit together. So that would be when they meet. If they uh, cross, you can see it would be like these two lines over here that intersect. One comes through and the other one goes right through it. They just cross. So we would call these an intersection or these lines intersect. You can also see that we can have faces that intersect. So we've got like two rectangular shapes here that actually go through each other. And so that is called intersecting lines or faces. Three key ideas here. First one is we've got parallel two lines or faces that never meet or cross and always stay the same distance apart. Second key idea, let's look at our last word here. Last word is perpendicular. And perpendicular actually deals with intersecting lines or faces. So you can see there are lines or faces that meet or cross, but there's a special extra part to this. It's that they make a corner that is like a corner in a square. So for example, if I've got a square that looks like this, you can see a nice square corner looks like that, okay? So if you've got a perfect square, that corner is what we call a right angle or a 90 degree angle. And so here, if it makes a perfect corner, perfect square corner, when they intersect, that is called perpendicular lines. Same can be true with faces. So you can see we've got one face intersecting another face. If it makes this nice, perfectly square corner, it is considered perpendicular. So three key 